guys, welcome to another Lake Stevens auto detailing video. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to start your basic car detailing business for under $250 using just the basic bare essential tools that you need to get the job going. The first item on the list is a Flexilla garden hose. It's a 50 footer, so that should be able to reach all the way around the vehicle, depending where the water hookup is at your customer's location. It's a value deal. Uh, $40 for 50 feet, it's pretty good, and it's a reliable hose. I've got a 10 foot one that I use for my pressure washer for my business, and it works great. For starting out your detail business, we're not going to be buying a pressure washer, so we'll be using a water spray nozzle here provided. Next is a cheapy uh, foam cannon uh, sprayer that you don't need a pressure washer for. It's a budget deal. Next are wash buckets, you can get two of them. You can use it for your two bucket wash method, then you can rinse it out and use one for your wheels. I picked these ones on Home Depot because they were cheaper than any on Amazon, but you could get some at Walmart, uh, Lowe's, whatever home store you want to use. Next are quality grit guards. You get two of them for your two buckets and you can be done with it. Easy. So we've got Meguiar's Car Soap. This is affordable and it's from a good brand, so it'll serve you well for the time being. Just starting. On the list are some microfiber wash mitts, and these won't break the bank at $10.44 for a two pack, and they won't scratch. Next is PNS Interior uh, Cleaner. You can use it for any surface on the inside. I'd use a dedicated glass cleaner if you can for the glass surfaces, but it's safe on leather uh, enter your trim panels anything like that you can dilute it one to one or use it straight it's up to you next is this bargain value of microfiber 100 pack towels they're not super absorbent but there's a lot of them and so you'll it'll last you for a while and they're cheap so it'll help you get started on a budget next thing is some protection after you wash the car and you can use mcguire's quick wax instant gloss it's a cheap price and it's a good quality product that'll give you some protection for a few weeks. There's another affordable item, some uh, Tire Wet Black Magic. It's not water-based, but it'll get the job done to start you off. Wheel and tire cleaner uh, combo, so you don't have to buy two different products. This will get the job done for you. Next are some interior uh, detail brushes you can use, and exterior, as well as a uh, wheel woolly and a scrubber. This is in the wheel. Next we got a quality wet dry vac from Stanley. It's a six gallon, four horsepower, so it's gonna have plenty of suction and it'll get the job done um, with ease. Now it's pretty likely starting out, you're gonna run into some pet hair. So I included a affordable uh, pet hair removal brush, which works pretty good in conjunction with the vacuum, just starting out. Next is some affordable carpet cleaner that'll help get the stains out, just go. Griot's Garage Odorizing Carpet and Upholstery Cleaner. It'll do the same job as the other one, just a little higher quality, and it'll help eliminate some of those stinky odors. Now when you're trying to work the stains out, you're going to want some sort of uh, harder bristled brush for agitating, and this will do the job. It's a chemical guys uh, brush. 